The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Our reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O God. Chapter 17, verses 15 to 20. Jesus said to his disciples, Beware of false prophets who come to you disguised as sheep, but underneath are ravenous wolves. You will be able to tell them by their fruits. Can people pick grapes from thorns or figs from thistles? In the same way, a sound tree produces good fruit, but a rotten tree bad fruit. A sound tree cannot bear bad fruit, nor a rotten tree bear good fruit. Any tree that does not produce good fruit is cut down and thrown on the fire. I repeat, you will be able to tell them by their fruits. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, the Gospel of Matthew chapter 7 verses 15 to 20 is an eye-opener for all of us. As leaders, what type of a leader am I? Be it a leader in the religious field, be it in the political or in the government, or any type of leadership, even in NGOs. By the fruit, we can know the tree. If you look at the life of Judas Iscariot, he was a disciple of Jesus like any other. But who lived with Jesus, who ate with Jesus, who saw all the wonders that the Lord had worked, that he fed thousands and thousands of people, yet he was known by his last action what he was deep within. He was a wolf, a cheat, a liar, a robber, a criminal, but he lived with Jesus. The Lord is telling us today that there is a difference between the good prophets and the bad prophets, the false prophets, who use the word of God in order to make it a business in life because their life and the word that they preach does not match. So what they utter by their word is for the sake of gaining material gain, material prosperity in life. Therefore, such people and such leaders will not be able to produce good fruits in life. In our families, we can see there are some families producing sound fruit, sound behavior, sound value system, whereas some are disturbed. Some do not know what is happening in their families. They do not have a proper way to go ahead. It is when the leaders, the father, the mother, who are the heads of the family, are not in tune with the word of God that the Lord has already commanded us. So many a times 
we feel why do our children not become good in the society why do our children take different deviations in life it is all because they do not have a proper leader or there is a leadership that is based on material goodness that is based on power and position craving for worldly things but to, to become a real person in the society to become a person of god we need to have value system from the spiritual realm that is from god himself a good tree will not produce bad fruit and a bad tree cannot produce good fruit we all know that so the lord is warning us by this gospel reading from matthew chapter 7 verses 15 to 20 that we need to be the true leaders who have the base on the commandments of god who have the base on the spiritual guidance that we receive from the spirit and all that we do in our lives is based on the values that god gives us so my dear friends let us look at the spiritual reading of today the gospel reading of today and begin to transform our lives if our motive as being leaders is wrong or at times when we are craving for power for position for material wealth then our whole purpose is wrong let us ask our dear lord to make us the real parents for our children the real leaders for our people and make us the true personalities of christ amen